this offense. Nate Craig Myers, the receiver at the top. They come to the near side. The catch is made by Ryan Davis. He gets to the sideline, pulled out of bounds across the 30 yes. than what they averaged last season. Yeah, very uncharacteristic. You know, normally when you're playing Auburn, you're expecting to play an extremely disciplined football team. So I'd call a whole lot of design runs for your quarterback. Kind of probably try to keep him safe and keep his runs for the big games. And on third and four. Yeah, you're not kidding. That guy was a stud. <laughs> Second possession for Auburn. Freshman Anthony Schwartz comes in motion. It's a handoff. Whitlow. What they want to do. I think when he gets more comfortable in protection, we'll see him more and more throughout the season. Willow cutting it out right side. Pulled down at about the. Well, welcome everyone to Auburn SEC Saturday Night Football presented by Holiday Inn Express. From the 20, here's a run. Again, lost football. Picked up by Alabama State. Kamar Martin running the other way, and he's tackled it. it resulted in a turnover, their first turnover of the season. Handed off. This is Cam Martin with some blocking, running right, upended. A time, a junior, veteran protection, knows what he's doing. He's the guy, when the game's on the line, he's the one they're going to go to this season. A little option look there. More like Jatarius Whitlow, who's a big bruiser type guy. First down throw, wide open, caught at the 38 and running up the sideline. He is absolutely a weapon in the passing game, had five catches last week. This time targeting for Ryan Davis. The muscle, he's still trying to add size, guys. Appreciate that, Taylor. It's a, it's a tough guy to replace, Carry on Johnson. Is it? Run for Whitlow. Carry on Johnson was the SEC Offensive Player of the Year last year. Will Auburn have another 1,000-plus yard rusher to keep their streak going? Here's Whitlow running right, turns the corner. A little strut down the sideline. 3,000 yards on the ground and through the air. Only the eighth time in the SEC history that was done. Whitlow. Tried to bounce off one tackle by Stidham. Now he comes up under center. He'll hand it off to, you no, know, he'll keep give now. This is Anthony Schwartz, the speedy freshman. Not only one of the fastest guys in the SEC, one of the fastest guys in the entire country. On Pitch. Track and field setting. Yeah, that's Whitlow scoring. In motion comes Chandler Cox. Kept by Stidham, and he's going to waltz into the end zone for a touchdown. <laughs> Last year, none so far this season, is a great decision maker. Really has a great feel for the passing game. Cam Martin slung down. Kind of relearned the offense. He's, it, to me, he looks so calm in the pocket this year. Stidham fires in a, in a diving catch for Davis. That's a, kind of the, the leader of this receiver, receiving core. A really good and deep receiving core. You'll see a lot of guys catch the football. Ryan Davis. Definitely the most talented guy in that group. Freshman Sean Shivers in the game. He gets the pitch. A flag is down. He's tackled for a loss. The funny thing is that's the exact. Outside, defense, number 64. Five-yard penalty. Result of the penalty is the first down. That's the. Stidham looking in the direction of Anthony Schwartz. And the freshman uh, understands how to run routes and has natural hands. So excited about this guy's future. Here's Cam Martin. And there they go. This to me is, is maybe not the full lightning speed tonight. Time to throw for Stenham. He's taking a deep shot. He's got him open. There's the speedster, Anthony Schwartz. And the freshman has the touchdown. Auburn takes over at their own 11 yard line. Stenham, plenty of time to throw. Has his man wide open. A catch by Davis at the 32. Makes a move across the 35. Not much for the Auburn offense. In fact, the second drive. Ended with their only turnover of the game and of the season. Here's Whitlow barreling ahead, just refusing to go down until he gets their back combination. Cam Martin and Whitlow may be that combination this year. Whitlow running right this time. And you can just see the They came up with hurricane and earthquake. Hurricane and earthquake. So, Well, we'll say who's who. Stidham diving attempt. Ground and pound Hold style. It. Defensive holding against Alabama from the 19 of the Hornets. In motion, Davis. Handoff, Cam Martin finds a crease inside the 10. Down near. In this football game, opened up huge holes for these running backs. Martin trying to run left, got by one tackler, he's in. The Ole Miss offense are putting up some video game numbers down there. 
Lay fake, and here's a deep throw. Looking for Ryan Davis. Well, go to him, right? This is his first play in the game, at least that we've seen, running a deep route and had to give him a shot. Anthony Schwartz has a touchdown catch tonight, bounces off one tackler. I mentioned he's hurt today, but it seems like they might have found another jet sweep guy in Schwartz. He's a, a speed. I know that'll be an intense one, particularly the way the LSU Tigers showed up that first game. Stidham taking another deep shot. Nate Craig Myers, which is approach. A lot of players that they will consider redshirting at some point. It's batted down for Nate. That's Hastings who came in motion. They reverse it. This Schwartz already has a touchdown tonight. He may have another. Indeed, he does. Freshman Anthony Schwartz. Here comes Stove in motion. They fake the jet sweep to him. Cam Martin, run, but a safety. Half. Second series for Malik Willis after he took the safety on his first play. And with the injury, you have to get out there and get some live game reps so you'll be ready when the, the bullets start flying. Whitlow, with that stutter step, does get to the sideline. Didn't step out of bounds. Gets pulled down. Earthquake, he's still got some moves in the open field, make no mistake. But you, you, you brought up a Michael Vick rep. Two rushing yards here in the first half. Yeah, I'm going to make a not-so-bold prediction that that will not be his last 100 yards. There's some five-star recruits down there in that other band, too. There are indeed for Alabama State. Here comes Malik Willis. He's going to run with it. I'll have Clemson. We'll go back to that in just a moment. Here's a run for Ace Martin up near midfield. Last week, I think if they run the table in their conference, which they certainly can do with a weak Pac-12, they could find their way into the playoff. There's only really three points. It won't be too long. Hand off Martin. Lost the football, and there's the second. Auburn. They got, they got a lot of talent there in that freshman class. We've already seen Schwartz and now Tut making an impact in this football game. Sean Shivers, another one of the true. Willis goes under center in motion. Schwartz. Handed off Shivers off right tackle. Class for sure. I don't know if it's world class. That's pretty good. Fake the jet sweep to Schwartz. Handed off again. Shivers cuts back. He's inside the 30. Shivers 200 time is 20.81 seconds. Kept by Malik Willis. Trying to get to the edge. Fighting his way to the sideline. The next few days and the next few weeks. Wildcat freshman Harold Joyner in the game. The season just like this. Joyner getting a carry there off to the hand. The same length and distance. It can get a little intimidating playing in front of this many fans. Willis went under center. Hands off. Shivers bounces off a tackler and then brought 173 pounds and he's running the power play between the tackles. Very impressive. On this drive from Shivers. Right back to him. He gets inside the five to the four. I think he will. The answer is yes. But he's kept out of the end zone. Stopped just inside. In motion comes Schwartz. Fake the jet sweep. Joyner's going to motor into the end zone for his first. Very valuable. Cord Sandberg makes his collegiate debut. He's a really interesting story in his first, his first collegiate play. One of those up. <laughs> A lot of different phases tonight. Good complete effort. Here comes Shivers. Sandberg keeping. See what he develops into through the years. Here's Shivers. Met by Ricky Haley. Haley. See if they let Cord spin one right here. Comes under center. Here's the jet sweep. Still running. Matthew Hill oh. got stripped to the football. Jeffrey Hill. Wild watching that performance. There's a handoff to Shivers. He's going to have a first down. He's almost a little bigger than Darren Sproles, believe it or not, actually. There you go. Shivers lowering the boom at the Eagles, and that guy is just a consummate pro. Great guy, too. 
Shivers, he's sniffing the end zone. Is he going to win the race? Sandberg says, let me help you block. Can't quite get there. 10 team if you don't trust him. That was a 26-yard run. He's over 115 yards, and he adds his first. Malzahn is not going to enjoy those turnovers, but at least good to get a few back. Coming down the near side, Cedric Chambers. Ford Sandberg spinning a little bit. Fakes the handoff to Miller, and here is Sandberg on the run. Once again, he fakes to Miller. Same play, and there goes Sandberg again. And so, this time he hands off, and Miller is going to race to the end zone touchdown. This game, and I think just about everybody's gotten in. That's some intense salad right there for Matthew Hill as well. <laughs> Up with the hairdo. Substitution infraction. Defense, 12 players in the formation, five-yard penalty, first down. Devin Adams. Now in at the quarterback spot. Amon have a chance to have their moment on Jordan here. Tolbert. Cut down at the center. So I think they definitely improved on those two things. Obviously, we've harped on it. Turnovers will be the biggest takeaway from tonight. Try to be respectful. I just want you guys to get reps. And I, I believe they stopped him short right there. Looks like they may get the job done. Early congratulations to him on that. That's, That's impressive. Terrific.